Hi everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic. Today I would like to show you a new set of plugins from UVI, the makers of the amazing Falcon synthesizer and of course of some excellent effects. Today I would like to show you the Tape Suite, which is a collection of four tape-based effects. We have Color, Chorus, Delay and Flanger. UVI has not emulated any particular machine or hardware, like for instance a Stutter or Ampex, but instead they opted for a sandbox approach where we can build and design our own tape-based effects. So without any further ado, I'm gonna switch myself over to Pro Tools, show you all the features and of course run some audio through them. See you there! Okay, so here we are with the Tape Suite. I'm gonna show you the four plugins before we dive in. This is the Tape Color. We also have the Tape Chorus, the Tape Delay with its four lovely taps, and the Tape Flanger. If you click on the reel to reels you get that nice spinning deck action, which I'm not a big fan of, so I'm just gonna click on them. And there's a nice touch here, because if you play with the tape speed, let's enable playback filtering, they will run slower or faster, which is nice. So let's just turn this off for now. Once you open these plugins, you'll find them on this state here. You can access with this little arrow on the bottom right section. So this is the main effect. So here we have the flanger. And if you click on the arrow, you'll find the tape model itself, where you can access the aspects of the tape sound, of the tape tone. So you have the tape simulation, uh, the compander, which emulates the noise reductions found on some machines. And you have the playback filter in here, where you can determine the tape speed, the distance from the tape itself to the tape head and you also have the modulation section where you can add those imperfections of tape like wall and flutter and also some variations in the stereo field. There's also a icon here which I would like to highlight, uh, which is the low latency mode. And I think this is a pretty big deal because these plugins can introduce quite a lot of latency. So for instance, I'm running the session at 48K and at 48K on Pro Tools, we have 2000 samples of latency. But if we engage the low, low latency mode, it drops to 480. And the only limitation imposed by the low latency mode is the depth of the wall control. So unless you're going for some really wild wall variations, particularly for pitch, you can turn on low latency mode and I would advise you to do that unless you're used, used to running sessions with lots of latency, which is something I'm not a big fan of. So I'm most of the time running on low latency mode. So let's go back to color because the color is the tape sound. And it's the only one that allows you to bypass the top section of the effect and only use the tape simulation. So with the chorus or with the delay or the flanger, you cannot bypass that top section. So you are always gonna have some degree of flangering or delay or chorusing. But for the color, uh, the effect is a combination of texture and speaker simulation. Texture allows you to imprint some more character. We have some classic characters here derived from uh, studio tape machines mostly. We also have some creative textures and some machines which are uh, Walkmans, VHS, synthesizers and so forth. And for the speaker uh, section here, we, also, we actually have more than speakers because we have some devices like radios, walkie-talkies, TVs, microphones, and of course, speakers. So if you only want that tape mojo, that tape compression, that sweet low end, those stained highs, you can turn off the speaker and the texture and just use this bottom section here. Speaking of this bottom section, we have presets which only applies to this section, which you can access here. But if you want a global preset, you reach for this top section 
and you have a preset that loads the parameters for both the top and the bottom sections. Still on the bottom section, there's a gain trim here, which is always handy, so you can trim uh, and gain stage accordingly when changing presets, which is always nice. So yeah, let's have a listen. Uh, let's start with the color. Uh, I have a, a little loop here using only the tape suite. Uh, no EQs, no compressions. There's nothing else here other than the tape suite. So let's have a listen to the whole thing. Then I'll break down the individual channels. So yeah, a little sweet loop, there is the flanger doing its thing, which is lovely. Okay, so let's switch back to color for my main loop. You can see that I'm only using the tape model here, I'm not using texture or speaker, we'll get to that in a minute. So let's have a listen. This is with the color enabled, I'll bypass once we get to the loop. So let's bypass now. Let's enable it back again. So yeah, it's collapsing the sound a bit, adding that compression, taming the top end, which is nice. You can also use the mix knob here to balance between the process sound and the dry sound, of course, which is quite handy. You can right click and lock any control on the interface. So when you're changing presets, that parameter or parameters are gonna stay locked. And there's one nice thing here uh, as well, which is quite handy, which is the output compensation for the drive knob. So let's have a listen. You can push your drive knob and add more distortion without increasing the volume. So let's check that out. You can go into serious distortion without affecting the volume, which is great. I wish more plugins did this, but kudos to UVI for doing it. So yeah, quite handy. So let's check out the color now, but this time I'm gonna enable the texture and the speaker, which is for the secondary loop that's going on here. So let's have a listen uh, with the color enabled. Quite a lo-fi vibe going on. This plugin is perfect for lo-fi. So if you're doing lo-fi hip hop or going for that kind of aesthetic, this plugin is definitely for you. Let's bypass now. So yeah, it's a full body hi-fi sound, so let's enable. Okay, so let's have a listen on the texture now. I'm gonna bypass the speaker simulation. Just a little bit of mojo. I'm gonna bypass the texture now. And the big thing here is the playback filtering because I'm really slowing down the tape speed. You can see that the high frequency content is severely dropped once you enable playback filtering. Let's enable texture and speaker back on. So yeah, there's a dry sound. So yeah, this is a perfect solution for lo-fi. Let's have a listen to the whole uh, rhythm section now. Now let's disable the color plugins. So it's acting as that glue 
that compression, that distortion that we love about tape and it's all here. So let's switch over now to the chorus plugin which I have on the bass. This, this bass line was quite a bit hectic and had a lot of top end and I used the chorus to add an extra voice and also to tame the high frequency. So let's have a listen. I'm gonna bypass this one now. Notice that I have the spread control here, dial all the way down to zero, because if you increase it, you get more stereo information. And for a bass line, I would like to have it more narrowed down. But let's have a listen, increasing the spread parameter, just so we can have a taste. Because when we are going for chorus, most of the times we're trying to, you know, widen that stereo image. So yeah, lots of widening, and it sounds amazing. I'm gonna disable the playback filtering. Enable back again, pretty cool. Let's turn the spread all the way down to zero again to make it mono. So yeah. It's concentrating the sound and it's kind of counterintuitive to think of chorus this way, but it's actually leading to a, a, a build up in the low frequencies, which is lovely. So yeah, there's another use for your chorus as well. So let's check out the delay now, which I'm using mostly to glue together the sample that I have on the background. Let's have a listen. And I'm also using it to degrade the sound a bit with the tape simulation here. You can see that on the degrade, I have the depth all the way up to 50%. Let's bypass the plugin now. So yeah. I'm also introducing a lot of modulation here to make it more lo-fi which is nice. So let's disable the tape simulation, the modulation. Let's turn them back on. There's that extra grit associated with the degrade section of this plugin, which is lovely. Let's turn the drive a bit up. So we can really break up the sound. There's also an excellent control to automate. You can make some pretty interesting stuff when automating this parameter. I'm using the delay uh, on the regular mode here, but excuse me, on the ping pong mode, but you also have a regular mode and you can set the feedback from one of the taps. There's a handy multiplier here. You can sync to your DAW or leave them on milliseconds, which is always a good thing on delay. So this is not that kind of a scientific delay that you, you would reach for. This is more of a color delay, more like a mojo in build delay for those special occasions where you want to spice things up a bit. So last but not least, let's ch check out the flanger, which I'm using for this Mellotron high pitched sound that I have on the background. So let's have a listen. Quite dreamy. I'm gonna bypass the flanger now. It's a bit boring, a bit too static. And you have these artifacts from the flanger, which are lovely. One of those happy accidents, which is so cool. Once again, let's crank up this drive. You can get some nice effects out of this. So 
So yeah, quite cool. Once the LFO goes all the way down and retriggers, you get those happy accidents that I was talking about. So yeah, this set of plugins, I think it's a perfect solution for color. Uh, sometimes we, we think about tape, we, we only think about uh, those Glorios, multi-track studders, all those mastering MPEX machines. And we usually reach for those when we want to add more distortion or that sweet compression that tape provides the frequency response. But for this set of plugins, it's much more than that because we have those creative effects on top and the tape mojo down below. And once you put everything together, it just blends up so, so nicely. And it's a really cool set of plugins to expand your color palette, especially once again, if you're going for lo-fi aesthetics, make sure to try this out because they are simply amazing for those situations. So yeah, let's wrap this up. All right, so that was the tape suite by UVI. You can get these plugins right now. There's a link down in the description. Make sure to check them out. I hope you like this one as much as I did. See you next time. Bye bye.